Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tenden, and I want to thank you for joining me here in this YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to cover a basic skill of solving for X. But before I jump into that, I want to remind you that I am inviting you to join me in my GED Super Math Pack. The GED Super Math Pack consists of this DVD. It is power packed. It is 20 plus gigabytes of video worksheets practice has broken down in 10 easy to follow lessons helping you to have success and pass the GED test the very next time you take it. I know that there are many of you out there who are taking this test over and over and are failing it and are frustrated. Well, the GED Super Math Pack will get you there. The next piece of that GED Super Math Pack is the basic math workbook. This gives you all the basic skills that you need, the under skills, the skills that build upon the skills to take you to the higher level math, such as algebra. All that's covered here in the basic math workbook. And then this is the indispensable piece. This is 50 GED practice test questions. If you understand these questions, you're going to have success. So just as a quick recap, you have the DVD 20 plus gigabyte of video worksheets practice tests, all the things that you need to make you successful in 10 easy to follow lessons. You have the uh, basic math workbook and then you have the practice test workbook. With that, let's go ahead and jump in. So we have an equation here, 6x plus 25 equals minus 4x minus 15. And so to solve this, remember, solving for x is really all about doing the opposite. So you want to combine like terms, do the opposite, perform the operation, and get your answer. So when you combine these like terms, so in general, I get this question all the time, does the x have to be on this side? No, it doesn't. The x can be over here. But because in the English language we read from left to right, I just always uh, uh, defer to the x being on the left side. So we want to do the opposite. So the opposite of minus 4x is positive 4x. Because this is an equation, if I do it over here, I have to do it over here. So that gives me 10x plus 25. That just drops down. That zeroes out equals minus 15. This is plus 25. So again, this is all about doing the opposite. So if it's plus 25, the opposite of plus 25 is minus 25. Remember, this is an equation. So if I do it over here, I have to do it over here. That cancels out, leaving me with 10x equals negative 40. Now, then the next step is, again, still doing the opposite. So right here, you have x multiplied by 10. So I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So x divided by 10. And remember, this is an equation. And so if I do it to this side, I'm going to do it to this side. That cancels out, leaves me x minus 40 divided by 10 gives me a minus 4. And that is our answer. So again, on the GED test, you're going to see questions like this. And then in other cases, you're going to see these same skills called upon to do in a word problem. So in the future video, I'm going to do a solving for X word problem so that you can see this level of it. And then you can see the higher level of it. Remember, it's the GED math reasoning test. So they're not just testing your ability to do these kind of questions, although these are definitely in the test and you definitely need to be prepared for them. But they're also teaching and testing your ability to reason. And that's why it's called the GED math reasoning test. That's where the word problems come in. So in another video, I'll do one of these that involves using the word problem. As a recap of what I shared with you earlier, I'm inviting you to join me in the GED Super Math Pack. You can get this DVD. It is 20 gigabytes plus uh, that includes video, worksheets, practices, everything you need in 10 easy to follow lessons. Then you have the basic math workbook. This workbook has helped more people pass the GED math test because it gives you the basic skills, shows you step by step how to do them, and it breaks down the word problems for you as well. 
and then the practice test workbook. If you can answer these 50 questions, you are ready to go. So I always suggest this as the last step of the program. So when you get this program, I always tell you, do the basic workbook first, get those basic skills down, then get this DVD, crank it out, do the 10 practice lessons, uh, the, the, the 10 lessons along with the video practice tests and worksheets, and then wrap it up with this. And so that way you are working in a sequential manner. So you get the basics down, you get all that math that you need back in mind, then you go through the lessons and then you wrap it up with that practice test. And then you go and take the GED test and you pass. Just this week, uh, three more of my students pass, and it just gives me a great deal of joy to have been a part uh, of their success. Again, this has been GED Teacher Damon Tennant. If you're interested, look in the comments uh, in the description section below for links to take you so that you can get these three pieces of material in your hand and learn great skill, just like I've just shown you here. Thank you. Thank you.